it's time for Ford talk, guys. So, we got a 2000 F350 gasser. It's got the 6.8 V10 in it. V10, guys, there are some fans out there. Those motors, they run forever. They don't get very good fuel mileage or make a ton of power. But they are pretty damn reliable. I am not a Ford man, guys. Um, Dad is, but I uh, haven't had any problems with this pickup. He's had it for years and years and doesn't really drive it. But it did this quite a while ago, maybe early on last year. I couldn't figure out what it was. Checked all the fuses. Ended up figuring out what it is. It is a fuel pump relay. We've checked both boxes here. So we've got the main master box here with fuses. And we've got another relay box hidden over here. Now, this is where it gets interesting. I've checked. Get on there, you son of a... There we go. I've checked all these fuses individually with a multimeter. Did the beep test on the top. I've pulled every one out and check the prongs themselves to make sure there's no corrosion on them. See guys, a lot of times what you'll do is you'll actually check the fuse itself, but wiggle the damn things around, because they've been in there, what, 20 years. Wiggle things around, make sure the continuity's there. I pulled all these out and I checked every one. I wanna show you this, how this works real quick. This is a relay tester. Got this off Amazon several years back. Very cheap, hook it up to a battery source. It can be used on the battery in the vehicle. It can be hooked up you know, rigged up with a cigarette jack, whatever it may be. A separate battery doesn't have to be tied to the vehicle. So, I've tested every one of these, just like I said. This is a 5-pin, so I switch it over to 5-pin. Test came out good. We got a green light. I've checked these ones too, and it does a different variety of these guys. It does five different relays. So we're still on the five pin. We're gonna do a five pin test. Okay, this one passed. So we'll go ahead and put this one back in. So this is the symptom on this truck. It cranks, we've got spark, we put fuel in the hole and it will actually start up. Now, there's a hidden box. Of course, we take the dash off, the radio comes with the dash, it pops out. There's two plugs over here for the headlights. Down in here, I'm gonna get my flashlight. There's another relay box down in there. If you take a look, see it right there? Another cap, you gotta get the cap off. Getting the damn cap off is the hardest thing. Get that off of there. There's two of those smaller five pins and one bigger one in there. And that's that blue one that's sitting out there. That controls the system for fuel. They're hard to see. You can't see them from, from looking up. You have to take the dash off and get in there. Unless you're a part spider monkey, you're not going to do it. So just do it the easy way. Take the dash off. Here's the dash right here. Very simple. Leave the light controls in there. Leave the radio in there. Pull it off in a hole. Now. Here's our dude right here. Now you notice this one's a little bit bigger than the black ones and obviously it's a different color. It doesn't really mean anything. The prongs are still the same. It's gonna be a higher uh, tolerance relay. Basically is what it is. The reason, hence the reason it's bigger. Now, we got it set on a five pin. Let's put the button. Uh oh, we got a red light. I don't even hear any clicking. Let's go ahead and put four pin, which changed the polarity. Nothing. Look at that. We got nothing. So this is our problem for no start. So if you've got a problem with your F350, maybe sometimes it'll be intermittent. Now when relays fail, guys, sometimes they start doing weird things. It'll run for a while and shut off. Run for a while and shut off. And you'll think, oh, the dealer told me it was a damn ECU. That's nah, probably not the problem. You can take your ECU out, private party, and send it to a company back east, and they'll test it for you for a few hundred bucks before you go and buy a new one from the Ford dealer. So, like I said, these relays, they will fail, but they won't just fail all at once. This one didn't do that. This one gave this truck some trouble here last year, and it, and it was fine. I thought I fixed it under there when I wiggled something around, but I didn't, because it was this one all along under the dash hidden. So always make sure that there's always a section in the vehicle where you haven't seen all the fuses. Then we start getting into fusible lengths, which is another story for another day. But always check to make sure that you've got every relay located. 
Um, I mean, we don't have any rust or anything, so I wouldn't think that there would be anything with corrosion. But always check this relay. This relay is a cause of problems for a lot of these trucks. But anyway, we'll go ahead and leave it at that, guys. Do what's right. Go out and vote. We'll talk to you later. Hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, let me know.